together to keep up on legislative issues Sham, I lo can't hear you. locally and the state wise. Can you hear me now? Okay. I'm right into the microphone. Thank you. <laughs> can't get any closer. <laughs> All right. On a serious note, on a serious note, one of the cities around here, West Carrollton, we dealt with them about six years ago when they were trying to force inspections only on rental properties. We met with them half a dozen times in 18 months. We offered a solution to them. They said, okay, we'll try that for a year. If it works, we'll keep it. Guess what? It worked. So now another issue came up. They're trying to put a moratorium, which means you can't do short-term rentals. We are BO or you know, other things in uh, West, West Carrollton because they had some complaints from the residents, from the people that were using those facilities. So instead of putting some regulations holding the owners responsible, they just decided they're gonna just ban short-term rentals, which is a new avenue that most of the investors are working on these days. So we are trying to set up a uh, meeting with them, with apartment association, uh, the realtors association, and us. We're going to get together, sit down, and educate them. It's less of the problem. Is they don't want to see one side of the issue. We're going to bring them the other side. Let's see, sit down, and talk about how we can make it work. So that's what's happening. If anybody has uh, short-term rentals, Airbnb, VRBO, anything, in West Kelton, watch out right now, they put a moratorium, that means you cannot do it. But they're thinking into see if it's viable, this is the direction they want to go. So they borrowed nine months time from the city council two weeks ago. So we're gonna use this time to sit down with them, have a dialogue, okay? Just wanna make sure. Who's we? Sorry again? Who's, who's we? We, I just said. Uh, Apartment Association, GD RIA, and Dayton Realtors. Who's we on GD RIA? Oh. You? Me and Marsha. Oh, you and Marsha. Yeah. yeah. Did, yes, the, did the law that was proposed last summer not go through? No. no. It, it got stuck. It passed the House, but it did not pass the Senate, which means it died on December 31st. So we're going to reintroduce them at the state level. Once the state issues, whatever rules are, then these local cities cannot have their own way. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to prepare at a higher level. Okay. And if anybody has got short-term rentals in this group, will you please contact Sharon or I maybe before you leave tonight? We're asking some of our members who do have them to speak before the West Carrollton Council on how you run your business with short-term rentals. So how many people in here have how many, does anybody here have short-term rentals? How many people have short-term rentals? Airbnb, VRBO, any of them? Janice. Okay. Oh, Janice is one. Okay. Uh, we've got another member that is going to speak also. Okay. Janice is, we are, and uh, Janice will so just... Anytime an issue comes up, and a, as at a real level, we subscribe to a service which is going into each city council, each village council, and see if there are any housing issues that are coming up, and then we get an email on it. That's what we got informed about this. Thank you. Plus years, I joined in 1992. And I started volunteering here in 95, and I still do that. It's my passion to make sure we represent our members. Because somebody has to represent our members. The local level, the state level, and uh, that, that's how we protect our business. All right? All right. Today's topic is setting goals and coming up with action plans so at the end of the year 2023 you'll be close to what you set as a goal <coughs> it's never hurts to set a goal higher not higher than what you can achieve <coughs> that's the whole thing the idea is set a goal so high you may fall short of it if you gain <coughs> so every one of you has a little handout with you guys and uh, take a look at it. And I'm gonna go through this, and it's about 10 pages, but I'll try to make it as fast as I can. 
we'll wrap it. Greater Dayton Maria is a great source of information for real estate investors. You can learn what you need to do to succeed. You can learn the different opportunities that there are in the marketplace. And you can meet a lot of people that know about this from their own experience. It's a fantastic organization because you can network with uh, more seasoned investors. Uh, you meet all kinds of different vendors uh, each time. Uh, insurance companies, uh, title companies, there's always a different group of people here. And even though I've been involved in real estate since 99, every time I come to a meeting I learn something different. Um, you could also find contractors here. Um, it's just a really great way to network. The benefits that I've gotten from the Real over the years is being able to tap into a pool of knowledge from experienced investors, experienced speakers that allow me to overcome any obstacles I might have for what I'm not familiar with. By GRE, we learned that this is a team sport and being a landlord requires quite a few people to help. In GRE, we found our account attorney, property manager, realtor, who furnishes the lease and properties. The whole team was there. I had a property manager, realtors who had deals, and now I have four houses that are all turnkey solutions. I've invested in private LLCs. I didn't bought you know. So by joining an organization like GD Maria, you too can learn how to be a good investor. And we are an approved vendor with GD Maria. We've been with you guys about four or five years now. And we love networking with the members, and we're here to help. So anything that they need help with, or you can find us here every meeting and uh, ask us whatever questions you need to. You guys have a location?